let's say if you just starting out in a smart contract world, you never uh, touched blockchains or anything else, and you have no idea about Rust or any, let's say, you, you're coming from a JavaScript world or something else, I would argue don't start with Rust. <laughs> you just should start with Solidity. It's easier. Just uh, you should learn how to navigate Web3 world, how to write basic smart contracts, understand what's happening. And for now, Solidity provides easier developer experience for starters. So if you have no idea about Web3, start to learn Solidity, at least do the basics, like do open a remix, do some stuff. But then you'll, when you actually move to Rust, you'll appreciate it more also. That's what I would say. And if you're already, uh, let's say, in the a, in a Web3 space, you know Solidity and want to uh, start with Rust, um, the best way would be to first don't even like uh, maybe do any, at least I'm going to share my experience how I learned it. So you don't even touch the Web3 things. Try to learn the basics of a language, build some random CLI, maybe it's like a related to, maybe related to a Web3 or not. Just learn the basics of a language so that you can navigate uh, it easily. Know how to navigate documentation in Rust. It's super important because sometimes you have to know the types and you have to know how to navigate, let's say, crates IO uh, or some documentation that's provided, how to generate documentation. It's super important in Rust. And then afterwards, after you cover like a super basics, maybe even like, uh, I would say reading like 10 chapters of Rust book is sufficient. Mm -hmm. you, pick, you pick one chain, I would argue uh, like, uh, I would say, okay, try let's say one, two chains, but focus on one for now. It will be a lot more beneficial for your Rust knowledge and you at least gonna get accustomed to the APIs they use in, in a certain chain because, um, how I learned it, I learned the basics of Rust, written some like random CLIs and stuff. Then I, since I had some experience with Nier, I decided to get into Nier a bit more. So I uh, written, let's say, uh, Open Zeppelin type library for Nier protocol, and that actually improved my Rust skills at the same time. So it's uh, it's basically that's how. I would approach learning something, learning a new language or learning new chain just by building something. And when it comes to Web3, just to learn basics uh, of Rust and then move, pick a chain and just uh, try to write some smart contracts in it. And luckily, um, like at least on your protocol, there are a lot of examples and a lot of documentation that you can rely on. And Rust for smart contracts, I would say the, the chain that from my experience that I worked at and written smart contracts at is the easiest one so far is the new protocol. I know it might be a bit of shell since I also uh, created a course about this, but uh, I would always suggest if you, let's say, have already a knowledge in Solidity, you have already a knowledge in what a smart contract is, how it works, uh, instead of trying to let's say go and so do let's say use substrate to build the whole chain yourself in uh, in rust which is a lot harder than writing smart contract uh you could go to a near protocol those guys mm -hmm. the whole motto is to make near protocol should be uh consumer centric and easy to use for both developers and regular users so they built a lot of let's say testing tools that you can easily use their whole api in rust uh, to write smart contracts super easy. You can literally just uh, write a, add a macro on top and you already have a possibility. You don't have to even code it yourself. So there is like a lot of nice things built around that. So writing smart contracts on near is so easy and I would argue it sometimes uh, reads as easy as in Solidity. So that would that's, that's my take on this. Ink is also good, but I haven't spent that much time on Ink. Uh, I would say it's also similar to Nier, but for now, I would say if you want to just directly start with the uh, in Rust smart contract world, just go and try Nier protocol.